Mafia, what's happening? What to do, y'all? Y'all, y'all, today is a whole different day. Because today, I'm not doing no move phone. I'm not doing no challenges. And I'm not doing any pranks. So what in the world am I doing today? Y'all can tell from the title down below, I am doing how I do my thumbnail video. How I do my thumbnail video, y'all. Um... It's a little different. I actually been wanting to do this because a lot of people have been asking me. Um, by the way, before I go ahead and continue, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell so you won't miss out the next video I do because you never know what I do because I do all that I do. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> but you guys, um, yeah, don't 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 miss out on none of my videos because I'm always coming out with helpful videos and tips, y'all. I got many, many more to come. Um, also, but I wanted to tell you guys, you guys might see a little difference in the camera quality, um, only because I have my phone right here, which most of you guys know that I record with my phone. Guess what I do. But because I am doing a thumbnail video, we are going to go ahead and do it the world way, the way I do it. So I have to have my phone, of course. So let me go ahead and put my, my water down. Y'all, I'm going to go ahead and start the screen record. And we're about to get this started. So, y'all, I want you guys, um, I'm not going to cut much of this video if, um, only because I want you guys to see how long it really do take me to do my thumbnails, um, which is a very big thing for you guys to always, always have, um, on your videos. Thumbnails are huge. They are what uh, 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 catches people's attention, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and put it on the screen. Also, I'm going to tell you guys what app to put, go ahead and download. So, put this app right here so that um, you guys could be on the same page with me. So, while you guys are um, downloading, I'm going to go ahead and set everything up. Also, um, go ahead and get a picture that you would like from a video that you would like to use so because we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that picture and we're gonna crop our bodies out okay so whatever picture it could be like a move on like or for the two two times body <laughs> but um any 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 type of eye-catching poses that's what you need eye-catching poses also what I did, let me go ahead and show you guys. What I did is that I went ahead and went on Google and type in, um, you know, colorful backgrounds, um, bright, 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 fun backgrounds, and you guys can see all the different types of colors. You guys can type in anything, okay? There's all types of backgrounds, but I chose colorful and I have another background which I'm gonna show you guys. So, did you guys download the app? Okay. So, the app is called Thumbnail Maker. That is what I use for every single one of my thumbnails, all right? So, we're going to go ahead and open the app. And as you guys can see, there's Thumbnail Maker, there's Channel Art Maker, there's My Projects, um, there's Cover Maker, Vlog Star, Intro Maker, which will help a lot of people. Now, you guys are like, ooh, let me check that out. Let me upgrade my little intro, which I'm working on, y'all. Bear with me. Um, we're going to use the first one, Thumbnail Maker, of course. And as y'all can see, in the app, once you open it, there's different types of formats. Okay? But I always use the first one, which is the one that's already there. So we're going to go ahead and click that little camera that's in the middle of it. And don't mind some of these pictures because I was doing a little photo, ghetto photo shoot <laughs> of my daughter. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put use your, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick that background that you had chosen from Google. See how it pops up? Once you click it, it go ahead, it went ahead and lay itself out on the, the the format of your thumbnail. So next, as y'all can see from the bottom at the uh, very very bottom, you guys can see the layout section, the um, text is where you can type all your texts. And the next one is a smiley face sticker with a 
discombobulated head <laughs> so you guys in this section it has all types of stickers and you guys can see some of my stickers yeah y'all see the one in the bottom and all these type of stickers that i've used on all my thumbnails i have a lot okay but y'all can see there's all type of fun stickers okay i love this app it's really really fun i have not used any other app to be up uh, to to edit my thumbnails this is all i use thumbnail maker that's it don't make anything complicated so what you're gonna do is that on the side you can see cut out add image and manage what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and add image well what images am, am i gonna put you're gonna go ahead and put that screenshot of yourself or that picture that you chose that um you want to grab you know your audience uh, attention so what picture did i want to use um let's me say i'm gonna use this picture right here okay so y'all could say see the at the bottom it says original freely freely is when you could you know crop it out yourself you could customize it in your own way now, I don't need frilly because my pictures are very much zoomed in. So, I'm going to use original because I need the whole thing. But there's different sizes. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to skip this. So, you're going to make sure you press the um, little arrow to the right, my right, to go on. And you're going to go ahead, as you see that it laid out itself out on the background. But you're going to go ahead and click the picture again. When you click the picture again, it popped up unsafe sticker, edit sticker, copy, edit la layer order. What you're going to click is the second one, edit sticker. Edit, when you do that, that's when it brings you to the cropping out area. And it gives you a sticker. Now, in the sticker section, you can see where it has erase, restore, and setting. Erase is, of course, when you erase the background of yourself. And restore is if you accidentally cut yourself out and you want to go ahead and shade it back, okay? That's what I love about this app. It's very much, you know, it's time consuming, but it's worth it. Because you want people to, um, you know, catch, you know, you want people to watch your stuff. You want to catch them. So, the size. Size is where you can edit how big your eraser could be. Now, I don't like my eraser too big. Okay, so I'm going to put it right there. Offset is how high or from away from your finger you want your eraser to be. I like mine just a tad bit, not too much. And I test it out sometime on the side to make sure that it's at my comfort zone. So I'm going to go ahead and start erasing. Like I said, I'm not going to edit these parts because I want y'all to see how long it takes me to do this. I'm a little faster um, because I'm used to it. Okay, I've been doing this for quite some time now, so not too long, but enough for me to get used to it. So y'all see that. I'm already there, I'm already there. Look at that, y'all probably like, whoa, 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 girl, slow your roll, like, what? And while I'm doing this, if y'all want me to show y'all how to do any other things, let me know. And I'll be gladly to do that. I'll stop my move phones and challenges just for you. Because I want to make you, you, you happy in this palace. Welcome to the palace for any you new user, new supporters. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out the next one. So y'all can see that um, I'm already done. <laughs> and again, you can use your two fingers. I'm um, so sorry to tell, um, I, I should have said that in the beginning, y'all use your two fingers to zoom in and zoom out, zoom in and zoom out, zoom in and zoom out, okay? So I think I like it the way it is. So now at the very, very bottom, you guys can see the word stroke. Stroke is the outline, oh yeah, stroke is the outline around your body, that little line that you want to outline. Some people don't want to stroke. If y'all, not, not that one. Not that one. Some people don't want the stroke, the outline all around your body. But I like it. I always like it because it highlights your, yourself. I like to use the color white. So right here is where you adjust. This little bar right there at the bottom is where you adjust how, uh, um, adjust how thick you want it. I think I like it like that. Again, you can pin, you pinch your fingers to make stuff big. Um, and um, Pinch and, and, and spread is how you make things big. And you do the opposite to make it. I think I like it. I, I want my picture right there. 
to the side and I like that thick um, the thickness of that white outline now the next one is feather feather is where it smooths everything out I don't I personally I don't use feather I like the way it like just had that jagged edge to it like this is what it does yeah it, it smooths you all the way out now I don't like it I like how it look natural like that natural so y'all um then the next one is shadow shadow is like that out outlined uh glow around the white outline it has a glow you can pick any shade color um for this one let me see huh and then also that first square right there that colorful one is where you can pick different more shades than what they provided i'm gonna try let me see how red look like uh, it don't look too right, but y'all, I'm showing y'all how to do this, so it's okay. So this little bar right here is how wide you want the glow um, to spread. Now I don't want it too. I don't want it to spread too much. I think right there is perfect. So once you are done, you're gonna go ahead and press the next button to the top right on um, on the red top bar, and it brings you back to where you first started. So what you're gonna do? is that okay so i don't know if you guys want to add anything else and if you have other pictures that you want to do you're going to go ahead and click add image again and crop out and do the same process that i showed y'all so now the next part is when i could show you guys how to write on the thumbnail which is the second little it's the second thing at the bottom the t um so you're gonna go ahead and press click the t and it's gonna already pop up. It says type here. So what y'all think? What y'all think I should write on here? Um. Oh, this kind of look like a like a, a a get ready with me type of a thumbnail. So, but I don't want to write get ready with me on the thumbnail. I want to get have something that catches someone's attention of a little a little quote or a little something that like. <gasps> ooh. So. So I can write. Uh, I could write, oh my gosh, look, OMG, look. That's some type of eye catcher. <laughs> OMG, look. People gonna be like, what, what, what happened? And then again, like I said, you can you can make stuff larger by spreading it. So I'm gonna go ahead and spread it right like they, cause you want it really big. Like uh, if someone's on their phone and they're watching YouTube, they can't see that small thing that you got going there. You're gonna go ahead and cl uh, click that check mark and see all the different types of formats you wanna use on that. Me, let me see. I'm gonna use um. And you don't have to use these if you don't want to. And you don't want to use cursive because not everybody understands cursive. So I always make sure that I stay away from those. Um, I think this one is good. This format is good. I'm going to go ahead and adjust it. Alright y'all. So, you guys can see um, below the little picture, the thumbnail that we're working on is like a whole bar. It's an A with stars, a T, a little paint thing, and two A's. The next one is, um, like court, again, different type of formats that you could change your letters to. Now, I don't usually mess with those. Uh, you can change it to different things. The next one is um, the color that you want your letter to be. Um, I'm going to do white. And then, um, again, there's different kinds. You can pick any color that you want your letters to be. The next A, I mean, well, the first A after that paint thing is the outline that you want your letters to be in. So, what I, I could choose, let me see. Hmm. Well, I like, I like a color that stands out. I use yellow a lot, but I already got yellow, so I don't think this looks good right here. But you want something to stand out. You want a pop. You want a pop to be like, look here, look here. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, y'all? Look here, look here. I think that looks good. I think. Even though the colors don't match. But y'all, I'm just showing y'all how to do this. Okay, so oh my gosh, look. There it goes. And then you can make your stroke thicker. 
or thinner by um, doing, you know, messing with this bar right here. Y'all might hear my daughter in the background. Um, she's a little whiny. And then the blur is like to like top of, kind of like bluff out the outline to make it not so harsh. The next A is um, like the shadow at the bottom. You guys see a shadow? You guys could have the shadow to be a different color. Now I'm gonna I'm leave it as black. Sorry y'all, I had to go ahead and make sure the baby's okay. So y'all, um, again, they, these are the, and the, 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 what is it called, opacity, opacity, <laughs> bear with me. That's how dark you want the shadow to be at the bottom. I want it to be dark, dark, so it could be right, right there, so it could pop out. Again, you want something to pop out. And then, um, angle is how you want the, where you want the shadow to be. You want it to be right there, right here. You see it moving. I want it to be right, I think that's, no, right here. There you go, there you go, good job. Um, This next A that has the colored white on around it is like if you want a box around the entire um, letter. So I don't want, I don't use those, that's not, mm -mm. so we're gonna go ahead and remove it. And um, the, the height is how high you want your letter to be. How wide you want it? I'm sorry, the box. How um, how high you want the, or how wide you want the um, box around it that I'm not gonna use. Now this next section with the two little bars um, is the letters. So you can play with the letter. You want it high, you want the line high, or I mean, sorry, separated, or close, or um, how apart you want, the, want it to be. I think I'm gonna leave it right. Uh, I don't want to take too too many attention. Uh, I don't want to take the attention away from the, my picture. And then this bottom part is also the curve. How, if you want it to curve or curve up. Oh, that looked fun. Just like that. Okay. All right. And then of course there's 3D. You guys could turn it over, turn it to a sideways, um, horizontal. You know. Things like that, little fun stuff. And then that's pretty much all I do for my um my thumbnails. Just fun little stickers right there to put on there. You could put um little filters on. There's different things, y'all. You could play with this this part to put uh, adjust the the color and the filter and all that. But that's pretty much what I do. And I go ahead and press the top red button and. Oh, also, y'all, the the, there's a layout part where if I want to, I could, if I want the pic, my picture of myself to be over the letter, I'm going to go ahead and hold, hold that little box right there that has my picture at the bottom and put it before. So now you guys can see that it went ahead and look, went before my letters. Um, or you could put your letter before, which is when you hold it and you switch. See how it switch, y'all? I think I kind of like how this look right here where my, my picture's over it. So you're gonna go ahead and what you can do so that you can work around it is you can lock it and you can lock your picture too. So then if you wanna add anything else on your um, thumbnail, it, it won't move, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and press the top top right um, check and then you're gonna go ahead and press that um, next button, top right again. And you can save your picture. And when you go to your photos, it's right there there you go beautiful now i'm gonna go ahead and do another one but i'm gonna go ahead and be quiet and i'm gonna let music play and you guys can do it with me again i'm gonna go over it one more time but in a different maybe more harder way okay y'all so let's keep let's keep on practicing till we get this right
time with it zoom in like I showed y'all pinch and spread your fingers all right y'all so you guys can see oh yo I almost threw my phone y'all can see from the top right here these are the two thumb, uh, thumbnails thumbnails that I went ahead and created with you guys and this is a real time it takes me to do her thumbnails y'all sometimes if, if it has more edges to cut out it's gonna take a little longer but the best the the the, the most eye-catching your thumbnail is the best it is for your video so y'all i hope this was helpful i love you guys don't forget to help hit the bell like i said so you guys won't miss out the next video Mwah! give me more tips on what else i need to do what else you guys want to see you guys because we got bangers 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 coming through all right you guys i love y'all peace Mwah.